What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I just gotta say, it's kind of sad really. The amount of tweaks that are coming out into Cydia right now, most of them are paid, and that's discouraging a lot of people from jailbreaking, from paying. I mean, the fact that you gotta pay to jailbreak now, I mean, what's up with that? Well, in this video, I just wanna show you guys that there's still gold to be found in the free section of Cydia, that there's a ton of tweaks. Even though they're free, they're still amazing. And in this video, I wanna show you the top 50 free tweaks inside of Cydia in this video. And before I begin, guys, there's just something I want to say to you guys. I want to tell you guys all thank you. I mean, I just got my YouTube award, uh, you know, this guy, the silver play button. Um, guys, I cannot even begin to thank you. The amount of support I've gotten, it's just been a, it's been a rough few months for me. I've lost my channel. I got it back. And YouTube has literally changed my life. I just want to tell you guys all Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. You guys are the best. You have changed my life for the better and I cannot thank you enough. So, I do want to do one thing though, I'm going to be doing my very first giveaway soon. I'm going to give away an iPhone 6 Plus and an iPhone 6 and I know I can't give one to everybody but I just want to do something to give back a little bit so guys I'll have the details for that soon but anyways I just want to say thank you so much. You guys are the best. I freaking love you guys and happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Now, of course, you guys will need to be jailbroken. Just click on that link right there. It will take you to my jailbreak. And if you're worried about jailbreaking, you don't know why, I have another video right there that'll convince you to jailbreak. There's still a lot of reasons to jailbreak in 2014 and 2015, so check that out. And guys, you will need a source. A lot of these tweaks aren't available in Cydia just by searching. And to find that source, click on that link to my article. It will take you to the full tweak list and all the sources you guys need there. All right, and let's get started. Now, now these tweaks aren't in any kind of order, I'm just going to be saying them randomly, one's not better than the other, they're all great tweaks. Now the one you're seeing on my home screen right now, that's called Flurry. Flurry gives your iOS experience this nice translucent effect. Now it goes beyond just the basic blur of iOS 8 and it gives you this really nice overlay, not only in notifications, in control center, settings, it literally extends in every application, including Snapchat, Facebook, a whole bunch of other applications and it looks really nice. Now a tweak that goes very well with Flurry is blurry badges. As you can see, they'll actually blur the badge color to match the color of the application that the notification is coming from. And it makes for a very nice effect, especially when sharing it with Flurry. This is Mobius. Mobius is an incredibly simple tweak. You now have the ability just to swipe right through all of your pages, just like Android would. Very elegant, very nice. This is Touch ID Everywhere. It uses your fingerprint to input automatically inside character fields. So as you can see, my password was input and it logged in for me just by scanning with my finger. It is still in beta and it only works for applications at the moment. However, a very interesting concept and it does work well for applications right now. Here's Snowverlay. It's a very old tweak. However, it's a nice little thing to install in light of the holidays and the winter season. It'll overlay your entire iPhone with these snowflakes no matter what application you're in. Very simple and it's a very lightweight tweak. If you want your device to feel faster, here's no slow animations. It'll actually speed up all of the animations when opening closing application even sliding to unlock it really makes your device feel more zippy here's cylinder it changes the animation when sliding between pages it's just like barrel except it's free and it has way more animations actually now here's in random it's really cool especially when you pair it with mobius you could just keep going and all these cool effects you get it's really neat this is untethered hey siri and it allows you to bring up siri hands-free even when you're not charging your device so you now have this option when enabling this for always hey siri and there you go. It'll come up even when your device isn't plugged into a charger. You can quickly clear your app switcher just by using this little skull icon down here with kill background eight. Just tap it once and your entire app switcher is now clear. No need to swipe up individually. While we're in the app switcher, when you're on your home screen and you slide up, it'll give you the option to respring your device. Very useful if you have a lot of tweaks or install a lot of things from Cydia, or if you just want to clear some RAM, it'll also give you the option to clear all apps from the app switcher. Now similar in function to switch spring is power tap but it's a little more elegant and it works a little better. So now you can just tap once on your power button, slide to reboot, tap once more, slide to respring, and once more to put your device into safe mode in case something's not working and you want to uninstall it. Here's status modifier. With this guy, you can choose what you want displayed in your status bar. You can either make it cleaner or you can add extra functions like it's displaying my RAM currently available, the time in 24 hour format, and the date up there. So it's a really neat way to mess with your status bar. Here's tap to snap. This is actually a feature taken from Android. All you have to do is once your device is focused automatically, just tap on the screen and it'll take a picture. That's it. 
it. And that's all there is to it. Just tap on the screen to take a picture. All right, so there's a few tweaks I'd like to show you guys in the messages. First one is a very useful one. It's actually taken from by SMS, but if you want to send a text message as an iMessage or an SMS to switch between the two, all you have to do is hold the send button. You hold it, your device will vibrate. I can feel it, you guys can't, and it'll switch into either iMessage mode or SMS mode. To revert it back, just hold it and it'll vibrate again. Now, another very useful one is called swipe selection. You know, if you have a lot of text and you don't wanna manually go through it, you can easily go through with a cursor just like that, just by sliding on your keyboard. And if you wanna select some text, just hold on the back button and then go back again and vice versa on the other side. So it's a very useful little tweak. And this one is a very useful one. It's called send delay. And it gives you a little time frame to stop a message before it's sent in case you actually made a mistake. So you can click stop and it'll stop the message from being sent. Really neat tweak. It could save your ass several times. Now here's custom clock. It allows you to change the arms and the colors of the clock. Just a simple little tiny tweak, but it's really neat. And here's a round dock. Round dock introduces a round dock, as simple as the name suggests, just a round dock on your home screen, and it looks quite nice. Along with round dock, you can make your dock look even nicer by modifying the color using dock color. And then your dock looks really nice. You can modify it to your liking. Now here's folder icons. It makes for a nice effect when combining applications into a folder, and now you can make an effect for it just by clicking on this gear, setting a foreground to it. Let's say I want this guy right here and a color, whatever you like, and then just click out of it and you have this nice folder icon. Here's one tap clear. Just tap once inside of your notifications and it'll clear everything. So you don't have to go through them individually. And this pertains to sections. So it doesn't clear all of them out at once, but in each section, you just tap this once and it clears the entire area. Up here, as you can see, my carrier logo is a Superman logo. And with Zeppelin, I'm sure you guys are all familiar with it. It allows you to change it to any logo of your choice. There's many to choose from actually inside of the Cydia app store in separate packs. Now here's status A. HUD. It's a very elegant tweak. However, be warned, it doesn't work for everyone, especially on older firmwares. It works just fine for me on my 6 and 6 Plus, but when you change the volume, it appears up in your notifications. And I heard it does crash the YouTube application, so I do hope there will be a fix in the future. Now, if you want to bring over some features from the iPhone 6 Plus, here's SB Flip. It allows you to flip your home screen just like the iPhone 6 Plus can. However, it does work on all older devices, not just the 6 I'm using. And here's Convo Picks. Convo Picks allows you to get that exclusive 6 Plus feature where you have the icon of the contact in your messages application. And as you can see, it fits very well. It's not just for the 6 Plus. It works well on all other devices. And here's some reachability tweaks. Of course, these are exclusive to the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus because they're the only ones that have the feature. But with my reachability installed, and if you enable reachability, you actually have it go down to one corner now. So you can easily reach them with one thumb. And if you want to switch sides, just you know toggle your device like that, use your accelerometer, and it'll move it over. Super cool and super functional. And here's Reach the Nyan Cat or however that's pronounced. It actually adds this nice animation and it's a little off center with this tweak, but usually it's up here. If you don't have my reachability installed, it adds an animation to fill that void space caused by reachability. Also a reachability tweak, here's a reach weather. It'll actually show you the time, the weather of your current location, the forecast. It's a really nice way to fill up that void that reachability leaves behind. And as you can see, add some useful information up here. Now here's Bytefont 2. Bytefont 2 allows you to change system wide fonts on your device and it's really extensive. Not only does it refresh the look of your device, it actually is so easy to use too. Inside of this application, you can just search for fonts, find popular ones, and install them. And here's Jelly Lock 7. It brings over the lock screen from Android onto iOS, and you have this nice little grabber right here. Works really cool, really simple, really nice way to mix up your lock screen. Here's a lock lift. It brings this nice little animation to your lock screen when unlocking your device. And it's taken straight from the Passbook application, but it looks really nice having it on your lock screen. You have this nice animation and a sound when unlocking your device. Next one is Spectral. This one can be really neat. It's a nice little one that adds a cool effect to your lock screen. And let's play some Cydia music. Let me just load up some music real quick, but let's play this guy right here. And now on your lock screen, it'll actually blur the background to match the cover art of the music. And if I switch, you'll notice that the background does begin to blur a little bit differently, as you can see, to match this guy. It's really cool. It adds a nice little effect to your lock screen. Now this is time passcode, you know, a way to mix up security on your device. So it'll actually allow you to use the current time as your passcode. It's 149 and it's now 0149 for the passcode. You can still use your original one in Touch ID, really neat. Now here's fully masked passports. This one 
can actually increase the security of your device. So it'll actually mask every single digit when entering a passcode. That way someone looking behind your shoulder can't actually read the passcode you're entering into any website or any passcode field. And this is a really neat one. It will allow you to modify what shows up in your control center. All of the switches, you can slide through them just like this. Even kill background eight shows up here. Even down here, you can choose the order, what shows up, what doesn't, even the amount. You can make it smaller or larger that display on one page, really cool. Now this one could potentially save you your job in the future, it's called PM Really. And whenever setting an alarm, if you set one in the PM and try and save it, it'll ask you, do you really want to do that? Nope. And it'll help you catch your mistakes. So really cool. It'll set it to AM for you, PM really. Now there's two Safari tweaks I want to show you. The first one is called store alert. It'll actually ask you before redirecting you to the app store. I remember Apple promised us that that would be disabled in iOS 8, but that's not the case. Sometimes you're browsing the internet and it'll automatically redirect you to applications in the app store and it's annoying. Well, store alert actually asks you before redirecting you and Safari refresh. Safari refresh allows you to refresh the page just by sliding down like that and it'll refresh it instead of having it reach over all the way up there and clicking it. Now here's some several very useful applications. Battery life for one gives you very detailed information about your battery. I mean the amount of cycles it has, the amount of charge, how fast it's discharging, what you can do to make it better. There's a lot of settings in here and it's a very useful little application. Two is Wi-Fi passwords. Now I'm not going to open this guy up but it'll basically show you every password ever installed for any Wi-Fi network on your device. It puts them in a huge list and then if you've ever forgot them just go in here and see which passwords you've ever entered into anywhere. Extremely useful. Three, file browser. This is an iFile replacement. iFile is $5. I mean, who wants to pay $5 for a browser? This does everything that iFile does. However, it just has an ad down here, but it still allows you to move, copy, you know, do everything that iFile would allow you to do for free. Here's iCleaner. It's not the pro version. However, it'll still allow you to clean up so much memory that's left behind by over the air updates, messages, you know, applications that leave it behind. It allows you to free up memory that it's not being used by anything on your device, so never run out of memory again. Definitely recommend iCleaner. If you ever install any applications from Cydia and you want to get rid of them a little bit faster, Side Elite 8 is perfect because it allows you to uninstall applications from Cydia just by doing it like any other application from the Apple App Store. Just click on that little X and it's deleted. All of the settings are deleted from Cydia. If you ever use your device at night a lot, dim is extremely useful. It allows you to dim your display even further than Apple would allow you to, so your display it can get pretty dark. I mean, really dark. And this is something that I find incredibly useful, especially if you use your device in the dark a lot and lowest setting just isn't low enough. Here's Phantom for iOS and you can upload photos and send them to people directly from your camera roll videos too. You can upload them to your story as well. And you can save photos and videos from other people without ever having to sign out and sign into another application. Facebook plus plus is very similar to Phantom for Snapchat. It supercharges your Facebook application. Now you have messenger back inside of the Facebook application. No need for a separate application for that. You can save videos directly from your story. You can disable read receipts. There's a lot that you can do. With Savegram, same thing. Supercharge your Instagram application. You can easily save photos just by scrolling down to that little icon right there and clicking save. So directly save photos to your device using Savegram. Really simple tweak, but it adds a nice touch of functionality to your alarm application. It's called alarm with two L's and you can toggle all alarms using this one toggle right here. So really cool. All of them are enabled and PM works very well with this guy. It'll ask you if you want to set them for PM. So nice little tweak to your alarm application. Pandora skips allows you to get unlimited skips inside of the Pandora application, you know, just skip unlimited times. And here's Rubik. Rubik is very useful if you want to see battery life. When you connect to Wi-Fi, your device is still using your network in the background. Well, Rubik disables that and it conserves power. And for number 50, here is power banners. Make alerts from your device such as low battery, low memory, less obtrusive. It'll actually just bring them down in the notifications menu, just like you'd get a message instead of getting a pop-up that you have to click OK to. And well, there it is, guys, the top 50 free tweaks for iOS 8. I understand they're a little limited, but the reason you pay for tweaks is because they're going to be a little bit nicer than the free ones, a little bit more extensive. And I have plenty of videos for other tweaks, guys. I mean, there are so many to pick from. Just click on one of these videos, check out my other videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, I'm always posting new things, so I'll keep you guys updated on everything. And I do hope you guys enjoy these tweaks. You know, these kind of videos aren't very easy to make, but I want you guys to enjoy your new devices that you guys are going to be getting. And of course, please jailbreak, guys. It is so cool the amount of things you can do. I would recommend it to anybody. Enjoy your devices, guys. Enjoy the tweaks. Have a great day. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Peace.